Hey YouTube, it's Tech Support Gone Bad, and this is basically my first impressions of the Apple iPad. Uh, basically, for those of you who don't know, for those of you who are just clueless right now, Apple just released their new product, the iPad, um, earlier today. Today is January 27, 2010. They announced the iPad. It's not out yet, but they announced the iPad, um, and they, they announced that they're going to be releasing it soon. So the iPad is basically, in my opinion, an oversized iPhone. It's about this big, and it has multi-touch and everything, and it looks exactly like an iPhone. So let me read some stats of the iPad for you guys, um, what it does, what it could do, and stuff like that. Uh, by the way, I'm on the Apple website, you could find the iPad on the homepage of the Apple website. I'll have the link to the iPad in the video description. So the height, the height of the iPad is about 10 inches, the width is about 7.5, and the depth is uh, 0.5 inches, so it's like this thin. And let's scroll down, it, has, it could have a capacity of 16 gigabytes, 32 gigabytes, or 64 gigabytes. Um, let's see, what else? The battery lasts up to 10 hours, it has both the accelerometer and over here it says ambient light sensor. Uh, it has basically the same controls as the iPhone, the on and off, uh, the mute, volume, up and down, and the home button. And it supports both Wi-Fi and 3G. Uh, what else? And that is pretty much it. Um, nothing too special, nothing too new from Apple besides uh, the new product. But inside of the product, there's nothing really new to be concerned about. So my opinion, the iPad wasn't as good as I thought it would be. I was expecting a tablet, um, a tablet computer for Mac, just a tablet Mac computer. How awesome would that have been? Just have a tablet, maybe like this big, um, and have Mac OS X running on it. That would have been awesome. That's what I was expecting. And I'll put up a picture right now of what I was expecting it to look like. And once I saw, I immediately went to the Apple homepage when I got home, and I looked at it, and I was like. Wow, Apple could have done much better. Apple usually likes to make their um, their screens go all the way up to the edge and make it look all nice. But if you look at the iPad, there's like what more than an inch of space where there isn't any screen, and that was one of the things that bugged me. It didn't look as nice as sleek as I thought it would. And what really, really bugged me is the home page of the iPad. Let me get you guys. I'll put up a picture of um, of the home page, but it looks exactly like an iPhone. And it, that's not a problem because on the iPhone it looks nice, but on the iPad because it's so big they spaced out all the icons and it just looks very unattractive and for me I don't like it. I was really expecting much more from the iPad. Now with um, the web browsing and all that type of stuff, when you look into all of that, um, it looks good. It, it looks like it has potential when it comes to the web browsing and uh, the photos and all that, managing all of your content on it. It has some potential. But the home page is horrible, in my opinion, and uh, the whole thing of them trying to incorporate apps into the iPad is horrible because why would you, in the video, they showed a guy playing, um, playing those racing games using the iPad. It's like this big, and the guy was like this. And it just, it doesn't make sense for me, uh, to, for them to try to make apps that are really, usually very small into something that's very big. Uh, they should have just stuck with making a tablet Mac, and that would have been awesome in my opinion. And the look of it needs some work, but with the content, with the content management, you know, I think that it has some potential with that. But it does need a lot of work, and it wasn't at all what I was expecting. So that's it, my first impressions of the Apple iPad. Uh, instead, of, I should let you guys know what I think about the iPad, and feel free to leave your um, opinions about the iPad in the comments below. And also, the iPad, really, really, the iPlate would have been a much better name as rumors thought it would be called, but the iPad just sounds horrible. Like, it's iPad, iPod, it just doesn't do it for me. So that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed my um, opinion on the iPad, just me standing here uh, whining about it and saying everything that I don't like about it. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Feel free to leave your opinion in the comments, and until next time, I'll see you guys later.